John, let me just start with you and, and your reaction. Look, okay, it was, it, frankly, as a as a citizen, as a voter, it was wonderful to get this fly on the wall perspective to how these negotiations typically go. I just wonder if the outcome, if the president's going to regret what he just said. Look, Kelly, I think, in fact, there isn't going to be a shutdown and that the president had been signaling all morning long that there won't be a shutdown. I think this was a public performance display trying to uh, uh, project an image of strength for a situation where he doesn't really have much strength. Uh, what we heard from the president early this morning is people don't realize how much of the wall has been built. And if I don't get the money from Democrats, the military is going to do it. He repeated that in that comment to Chuck Schumer. If, if I'll shut down the government, if I don't get it one way or the other, either from you or from the military, there's a big out in that, which is that he uh, can declare victory, say, well, uh, as he did this morning, we've already built a whole bunch of the wall. We'll reinforcement uh, uh, with the military and, and bulk it up in different ways. Uh, I think that um, uh, we're not going to see that happen. He's not going to get the money for the wall. Uh, there isn't going to be a wall built, uh, hmm. but I think the president's trying to uh, project to his base at a time when he's in some difficulty that uh, he's still in there fighting. What about the, f the facts that he cited about how where there are sections of the wall built, John, uh, uh, the cross-border flows have been reduced dramatically. What do we know about those claims? Well, first of all, there has been no wall built in his uh, administration. There are uh, stretches of wall across the border. The question has been, are we going to have a solid uh, uh, wall extending the entire border? Um, uh, I think that uh, border uh, crossings have been declining since the uh, mid uh, part of the first decade of the 21st century. Uh, I don't know about those statistics he cited. Nancy Pelosi came out in the driveway afterwards and said uh, that that data wasn't real. So I, I don't know how to uh, specify. You know, he, he named Yuma, Arizona and said, yeah. well, in Yuma, it's down uh, X, Y and Z. Can't really uh, assess those claims by the president. But uh, uh, we do know that there has not been a wall built. Jimmy, what do you think the odds of a shutdown are? And, and if this is important enough to the president uh, that it gets done, is there another way for this to get done, whether from Pentagon funds or elsewhere? You know, I think John's probably right. We probably don't see a shutdown uh, for one reason, that it wouldn't be a very long shutdown. Uh, Democrats are going to take the House in January. Uh, they can pa pass a continuing resolution bill. It's going to go to the Senate and dare the Senate not to vote for it. Uh, the president just doesn't have any real substantial cards to play. So you get a lot of this sort of street theater in the Oval Office. But the, every time they talked about the wall, what I was really thinking about was, boy, oh, boy, boy, oh boy we still need Congress to pass. Uh, I'm not going to use that other name, which is unpronounceable, but NAFTA 2.0. We still US need Congress to MCA. pass that. Uh, that was, those are not great signs. <laughs> those are not great signs, what we saw just then there. And boy, this does not seem like the pairing uh, Chuck, Nancy, and Donald that are going to pass a trillion dollar infrastructure plan. That, that seems like anyone counting on that, that seems that's going to be a rough road to hoe. So what do we know, James, about how the economy and the markets have reacted historically when, when the government has shut down? My sense, we've seen this movie a lot of times before. Uh, both of you, Jimmy, why don't you t take it off the top and then John jump yeah, in. Listen, uh, um, it's, it's, it's a political event. It is fundamentally not an economic event. Uh, it's fundamentally not a market event, particularly this time where such a small proportion of the government would actually get shut, shut down. Where it has mattered is when it's sort of gotten all tangled up with the debt ceiling. Uh, that's not the issue right now. Uh, so I, 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 I don't think there's going to be much of a market impact one way or the other, because if there is a shutdown, it's not going to last too long. John? Uh, I agree with Jimmy. Uh, look, we had a uh, shutdown in 2013. Uh, over the implementation of Obamacare. That became a political setback for Republicans. They backed off of, uh, of it. We had a more consequential standoff, as uh, Jimmy alluded to, in 2011 over the debt limit. That ended up with us getting a credit down downgrade. That had real uh, economic consequences. Uh, I, I, this is only a part of the government. Uh, and I, I don't think this, uh, even if there is a very temporary shutdown, I think it would go quickly and uh, we're going to be in a whole new ball game in January. Jimmy, do Z you think like Zero John voters had, will vote. Okay. Yeah, I, go ahead. I was just going to say, like John had suggested, do you think that the president will be able to somehow point to victory without getting the $5 billion or does he need to secure those funds? Well, if, if the president has a superpower, it's claiming victory uh, where there is none. 
So he very well may be able to claim victory and, and sort of base Republicans will think that something is happening on the border and somehow the troops are involved. Uh, but for everybody else, I think, looks at the facts is going to realize uh, we're not getting some giant Game of Thrones style wall for the southern border. But his, Jimmy, his uh, base knows. I mean, look, look these, they, they are very focused on this issue. A big segment of the country is going to They're know whether focused. he's delivering the goods or not. They're not going to be able to pull the wool over their eyes. He, he's got, I think hey. he thinks he really has to deliver this. Uh, listen, and the president may actually believe that wall is uh, being built and they can point to some of these decline in immigration figures that, gee, something must be happening if there's fewer people crossing the border. Uh, but I think reality, I hope, will eventually come through, which is that's not happening. He's not getting money for the wall. If there's a shutdown, it's not going to last very long. And boy, can we please do something about infrastructure? Kelly, so he, John, he, he's John. been claiming all morning that uh, the wall is, in fact, being built and that he will get it done even without money in this bill. That is setting the stage right, for him that, to declare a victory that without very happen. much at all. No, the work is yeah, being done. That's an done, impossibility. John. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Work is being done. You know, we can, the semantics over wall versus whatever, you know, structure is, is being worked on. I mean, there's clearly been some forward progress. Well, there have been prototypes of the wall, and there's been some concertina wire, and there have been troops reinforcing the border. But there is not a new wall uh, on the U.S. Mexico border. There is existing wall, uh, and there's been some modernization of existing wall, but it's not new. And so he is. Uh, he, he was out this morning in a series of tweets claiming that much of the walls uh, has been built and it uh, proved uh, impossible for the caravan to get past that wall. Of course, there was no such uh, collision between a caravan and that wall. There was a, a minor uh, set of skirmishes on the border yeah. that involved some tear gas. But no, this is not um, th the president can claim uh, what he wants and he's doing it. But that doesn't mean it's correct. John, let me ask you. Th and the one Army, sort of, Army's not going to build the wall. No, it doesn't seem like the Army Corps of Engineers is going to be doing that. Uh, John, let me, let me ask you one final political question. Is the country on the president's side on this? In other words, if, if the country, apart, apart from Congress, and those are the representatives of the people, but apart from Congress, does the country say, yeah, you know, President, you're right here. We need border security. We need a wall as part of that. And if it means shutting down the government, so be it. No, the country's not on the side of the president. Uh, the polling has pretty consistently showed lopsided majorities against constructing a wall. CBS did a poll in October, uh, and it was 60 percent said they oppose a wall on the border, 37 percent in favor. That is a pretty close approximation of the president's approval and disapproval. Uh, he was yesterday in Gallup poll at 40 percent approval, 50 uh, six percent disapproval. So, no, the country's not on his side. The country, of course, just elected a Democratic House. And you can bet that with yeah. the political momentum that they have, uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are not going to uh, strike a deal with the president to build a border wall.